All right, here we are back for the first match of this league. And, um, well, I don't think this hand's all that bad. Got a Seagate Oracle to block early with. Uh, having two Paragon Drakes in the opening hand with this type of mana is not very good, but... I don't think it's that bad. We also have a Divination, at worst, so... Opponent Mulligan to six, as well. We're up against the Weenies. Uh, White Weenie might be trouble with this hand, depending on if we can't, uh, stop them from doing stuff early. So, that'll be a bit of a problem. Of he's not the greatest card I was looking for. Uh, that kind of is. I mean, I think once we get Tron, we're going to be in a very commanding position. That's assuming we get Tron. We're up against Soldiers. Hmm. That might be bad. Alright, well, if we can live, and like I said, get Tron, which, oh, that's unfortunate, uh, might be able to get somewhere? Don't know? We'll have to see. Oh, that's not good. So that's already half my life. Um, hmm... I'm not really sure how to win here. Yeah. There isn't. Yeah, we're dead. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that hand didn't work out. If we were on the play and I, I had another turn, I think I might have been able to win, but not sure. So this is pretty easy. You just take out the four memory elapse and bring in the moments pieces. Memory elapse is not really that good. Um, actually, maybe capsize is not as good as two memory elapse. That might be very true. I still like the Seagate Oracles. I still like, you know, having the rest of the cards. It's very possible that you could take out the Memory Lapse over the Paragon Drake, but I think on the play, you want to be just as quickly as you as quickly. You want to be just as quick as possible. On the draw, maybe we'll take out uh, Paragon Drake for Memory Lapse if it gets to that, though. I could see that becoming a very, very uh, likely scenario. <laughs> I just noticed there was somebody's name in there that was free buy for you. That's great. Um, this hand's actually not that bad since we have Tron Peace and a Shimmering Grotto with a Preordain, so I think I'm actually going to keep, especially because we already have a Moments Peace as well. Uh, the Mnemonic Wall is kind of making it a Mulligan to 6. I don't think that Rolling Thunder really makes it a Mull to 5 because Rolling Thunder is just obviously always good. And I'm not really sure if my opponent knows exactly what I'm playing besides that I'm playing, you know... Urza lands and, uh, you know, stuff like that. Uh, well, hmm. Nah, I think I still just want to preordain here. I want more lands anyway. Yeah, alright, so we'll put you on top. Pretty sure we can just put this Shimmering Grotto to the bottom. And we'll pass turn. We'll see what happens. I love the way this land looks. <laughs> Take two. Oh, well, <laughs> guess we could always just draw Natural Tron. I love drawing Natural Tron. It's one of the greatest feelings. So now we can go get the other Shimmering Grotto so we can have double red for Rolling Thunder if we need to. Um, I don't think that Mono White has any land destruction in the deck, but I could be wrong. All right, I'm just going to have six here. So we can either get an Island... Or we can get a Shimmering Grotto so we can have double red up for Rolling Thunder. And I think that's better, considering the, the things that are going on here. I think the second Shimmering Grotto is just better. So my opponent got three Squadron Hawks, and they have a Bone Splitter. That's not bad. Uh, so here I'm just going to play... Oh, whoop, wrong line. Seagate Oracle. Uh, rather than, you know... All right, well, we'll take the prism, of course. Play the prism. Peregrine Drake. Well, we're close to winning the game. So that's good. Um, if we draw a ghostly flicker, we win, of course. I'm also, I'm just going to block here. I want my opponent to commit as much to the board as, uh, as they possibly feel they need to. Um, you know, I have moments peace. So, it's not really a problem. I do have to be a little weary of Prismatic Strands, though. They don't have another land, and they 
didn't play Squadron Hawk. So they might be playing around Rolling Thunder. They might be thinking about that since I blocked, which is interesting. Um, so, I can Rolling Thunder my opponent here for... How much? Uh, if I feed right into this and that, that would be 8, and they go to 12. And then... Next turn, I can play Paragon Drake. I don't think I win next turn. Uh, hold on a second. Alright, so I think I worked it out that it would actually be exact season if it isn't. Uh, oh, well, I'd have to get it back with the Monocle, I suppose. So that's not something I really factored in as well. Um... I think I'm just going to play Mnemonic Wall here and get back Preordain, leaving up Moments Piece. I think that's probably the best play. Even though I can't because I played the there's a tower and forgot that I don't have enough. But I think it's fine. I don't think I can really die from all that. From 11 with only 3 mana in this. I guess I could. So that is true. Um, yeah, I think I'll just hold the preordain and I'll leave up moments piece just in case. Just play it safe. I mean, I, I'm, I'm so... F all right, so I played moments piece... Um, my opponent played <clears throat> Raise the Alarm, and then Grave Inspector, so that's about it. God dang it. Alright. An Island. Well, an Island doesn't really do all that much right now, I don't think. But we're going to play it anyway. Go Preordain, see what we get. We get another Prism. Hmm. Well, we're not keeping the Mine, but... Do we keep the prism is the question. I think we can. Let's see. It's If I play Drake, that would be getting 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to float. And then feeding two of that into both prophetic prism. That would be 1, 2, 3. So that would be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19. Man, we're still off. Jeez. I think I'm still going to keep the prism, though. Like, just because it's a good draw. Um, I could Rolling Thunder here. Like, my opponent's tapped out, so clearly they're not playing around me killing them with Rolling Thunder because they don't really have a Prismatic Strands. And I could Rolling Thunder here, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just still just going to leave up Pro Moments Piece. Because, like, if I draw another Moments Piece or another Paragon Drake or I think a Ghostly Flicker, I just win the game. Oop, that's not correct. There we go. Moments Piece. Such a broken card. And then again, if they do have Prismatic Strands, I mean, I've been, you know, <laughs> being lied to this whole time. Alright, so we drew a Preordain. And we'll go Preordain. We drew another Rolling Thunder into a... Prophetic Prism. Well, Prism doesn't really do all that much, but Rolling Thunder does quite a bit. It allows me to kill all of his 1-1s, one and then that, and I, I think I can hit him for a little, and then I can Rolling Thunder next turn for the win. So I think that's what I'll do. So, red, red. We have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we'll hit my opponent for 5. Like, I don't think killing this really does anything. I'm not going to die to that creature alone. So. Pretty sure I have 11. Yeah, okay. I want to make sure I can count. And so now, my opponent could play around the other Rolling Thunder, but I'm not really sure if they will. <clears throat> Let's see, that's 1, uh, plus 6 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Alright, so we win the game. Cool. Although, we still have game 3, and this matchup is really not that easy. 1, at that. Peregrine Drake. One, two, three, four, five. Red. Red. 
at you for uh, 15. Okay. I need six more. Well, apparently it was five. All right, cool. I still think we keep it the same way. I don't really think there's anything else, but um, I think... Well, you know what? You know what it is? Like, taking out a Paragon Drake against this deck is, like, kind of harsh because of the fact that you really want to win as quickly as possible, and Paragon Drake is what helps you do that. And Memory Lapse is cool, but it's not really that good when your opponent's just, you know, playing a bunch of one-mana cards all in the same turn. So I think I'm just going to keep it the same way and roll it back. You know, <clears throat> speaking of which, like... This matchup is really not the greatest for this deck. Like the um, there's Morositron, which um, basically plays like blue red control, but it splashes green for some stuff, and it plays like main deck mystical teachings and moments piece and things. And then you have the regular blue red um, Paragon Drake decks where it plays like as a boiler works and stuff, and you just naturally combo off instead of trying to go really fast with Tron. And uh, you know you. Um, you get in this deck, uh, I'm going to keep this hand. In this deck, you don't get really that luxury with having like flame slashes and stuff. You're just trying to hopefully go off as quickly as you possibly can. So that is something. Um, so, you know, things like soldiers and whatnot can be pretty hairy of a matchup. Especially when stuff like this happens. <laughs> But, you know, if you can get things like Tron going, and you can get, like, a Prophetic Prism and Moments Piece a bunch and stuff like that, you know, it's not that bad. Alright, I'm just going to take three here. I'm not going to Moments Piece. I was just saying go. That's interesting. He just wants to crack the clue. Alright. Uh, play Seagate Oracle. Hopefully find the last Tron piece. Or Prophetic Prism. Prophetic Prism would be great. Ghostly Flicker or Peregrine Drake. Um... Hmm, that's actually a tough one, but I'm just going to take the Drake, I think. I think the Drake is going to lead to a bit more... Oh, okay, well that, that I guess works too. I think the Drake is going to lead to uh, a bit more things happening. Man, my opponent keeping in Journey to Nowhere. I keep... I, like, I'm, I'm just surprised about it in some ways. Alright, well there's Map. And we can go use Map now and get Power Plant. We'll play the Plant... And then we can hold up Moments Piece if we need to. I don't think we'll die. Could also hold up uh, Memory Lapse, but that seems really bad. <laughs> return the journey. Return the journey. No, we didn't return the journey. <laughs> or she didn't return the journey. I don't know. Uh, Alright. Take, what is that, five? Yeah, five. Alright. The next time a red source would deal damage to you this turn, prevent that damage. Oh, well, crap. Um, but it's when it deals damage to you, so... I don't know. I guess I can still possibly win the game? And, I mean, I could always just get infinite mana and rolling thunder my opponent a bunch of times. So, it's not an exact win, but maybe that was a reason to keep in capsize. I didn't really think of that card, to be honest with you. <clears throat> uh, alright, I think here we'll just play a couple Paragon Drakes um, into a Mole Drifter. See if we can get somewhere. Hello? Okay. It'd be really cool if I could just win this turn, but I'm not really sure if I can. I'm not really sure how I'd win this turn. And then we'll just cast Mole Drifter. All the floating manas. <laughs> well, there is Rolling Thunder, which is pretty hilarious. But, um... You know, we're not going to cast it yet. And my opponent could always just, like, not leave up a mana for... Uh, Rune of Protection Red. So that is true. That is a thing. Shimmering Grotto. Play the Grotto. And now, we could actually do Rolling Thunder for four to kill 
this and like these, but that doesn't seem great. That actually just doesn't seem good to me at all. Um, and I can't cast Mole Drifter the way that my mana is, unfortunately. So I'm just going to leave up Moments Piece plus Memory Lapse. And I'm just going to say go. Like, it, it's, po it's very possible I should have kept in Capsize, thinking about, like, Circle Protection Red or Rune of Protection Red. But I didn't, because, you know, I just didn't. My opponent's attacking with everything. Okay. One. Two. Three. No, what am I doing? That'd be very dumb. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I guess my opponent could have a pump spell. So I'm just taking three. Alright. I mean, I'm not dead unless I go below one. Like, you're alive as long as you're above the number one, so... Sure. Okay. Yep, your guy comes back. That's cool. Another mole drifter. Alright. I think I'm just gonna play I think I'm just gonna attack for six and then play Mole Drifter and leave up moments piece. Seems like the best thing I could do. That's the cool thing about this deck is like like the circle of protection the sorry, the rune just doesn't do a whole lot. Not at its core, because it doesn't prevent blue. And who the heck's gonna play blue? Um, well, I could ghostly flicker, and then do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, it seems cool. So, we'll go ahead and flicker one and two to get a bunch of mana. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll actually float a blue into this. So that we can have more blue. One, two, three, four, five. So now we can Rolling Thunder and kill everything. Um, which is, I think, what we're going to do. And then, you know... Because we can also Memory Lapse as well. To uh, get rid of Prismatic Strands. So float a red. And then hit U for three. U for one, one, one. Okay. And then, of course, there's no reason hitting my opponent. And then we can actually just play out the small drifter as well. And I'm pretty sure we win. Um, yeah, we can play the Prophetic Prism here. No reason to play out this uh, expedition map. And we'll hold up Moments Piece in case, like, for some random reason I lose to, like, a haste creature or something. I don't know. Sure. Alright. I'm not going to memory lapse that. I want to save memory lapse for a possible prismatic strands if my opponent has it. So, you know, just saving it. Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and attack for a bunch. Whatever. I have moments piece, doesn't really matter. Puts my opponent to two. Play Prophetic Prism, because we need more colored mana. Can always have it. A 4C. Eh, we'll just say go. I mean, my opponent has no cards in hand. They have a clue, I guess. But it, from what I understand, there is no card in White Weenie that says prevent the damage can't be prevented. That, as far as I know, is only in red, so. Who has the moments piece? This guy. All right. So what you saw there was the just turbo aspect of this deck, where you can just become, you know, just turbo out a bunch of five mana dorky flyers and, you know, control the board with moments piece and have memory lapse up and a counter spell and things like that. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you for the second match of uh, this recording.